Hey guys, it's Radiant Breeze here doing something a little bit different on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a Black Ops 3 commentary talking about Sub for Sub. So about a week or two ago, I started doing Sub for Sub for my channel, which I truly regret right now, but we'll cover that topic a little bit later. So at that time, I was at 80 to 83 subscribers and I didn't gain any subscribers for 6 to 7 days. Obviously, this was very discouraging and I thought, okay i'm going to have to do this and i have no other choice because i have to keep motivated if i want to continue to do youtube so i did sub for sub i ended up doing this for about maybe two or three days and i got 10 to 15 people to agree with me and they all subscribed so i was at 95 subscribers at that time but i was very disappointed in myself by the time i reached 100 subscribers i realized it was kind of all fake for me because I, I, I wanted to thank you guys for 100 subscribers, but I wasn't actually there. I cheated my way there, which I thought was horrible. So if you can't tell, I'm very disappointed that I did sub for sub. But honestly, it kept me motivated, which is a key factor in YouTube. So sub for sub, is it worth it? That is the main thing that I want to talk about in this video. And to be 100% honest, it actually really isn't. I know what you guys are going to say, it does raise your subscriber um, amount, but what happens is you don't get very many active subscribers. So at that moment, what ends up happening if you do do sub for sub is when other people do look at your channel and let's say you have 100 to 200 subscribers and the amount of views that you get on each of your videos are around maybe 20 to 30 they're gonna know obviously this guy did sub for sub and in the worst case scenario this person might want to collaborate with you and why would they want to collab with someone that sub for sub or cheated their way up sure sub for sub does keep you motivated but there are other ways that you can keep motivated on youtube I learned this the hard way. Somebody did want to collaborate with me. Other than Prank Legends Gaming, I know I just collab collaborated with him, but he's a personal friend of mine, so that wasn't as big of a deal. But another person with 400 subscribers wanted to collaborate with me, but noticed that I did sub for sub, and obviously didn't want to do it at all. On the other hand, though, s I saw one channel that was on the Google Plus um, forum or whatever. I don't know if Google Plus is a forum, but they they were doing sub for sub and i checked out their channel um because i was going to do sub for sub with them then i saw that they had 700 subscribers no videos and i thought oh definitely this person sub for sub their way up then the next day the very next day they released a video and it got 650 views so for this person sub for sub did help them out but what i want to tell you is it is very very risky five out of a hundred people that you sub a su that sub back would out of a hundred might be active 50 out of a hundred might be active you never know and that's the most risky part if if you sub for sub with 15 or 100 people and only one person is viewing what what kind of what kind of respect would you get from other youtubers and it is a very big risk sub for sub is a risk and that's probably not a good risk to take because the the chance that you're gonna get um very good active amount of subscribers is very very little so hear me out on this one you guys i went through it the hard way make sure not to do sub for sub it is excellent to get shout outs because you're sharing active subscribers with a larger youtuber but um sub for sub is definitely not worth it so if you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did make sure to leave a like subscribe and as always guys Stay radiant. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you do subscribe, I'm not going to subscribe back.